Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java file class to create and delete files in a directory with the help of examples so guys the file class of the java.io package is used to perform various operations on files and directories basically a file is a location that can be used to store related information and a directory is the collection of files and subdirectories so we will see how we can create and delete a particular file in a directory so over here as you can see this is the syntax to create the file that is using the file class we have this object and then we have this constructor that is new file and over here we have to give the path name of the directory where we want to create or delete the file so guys these are certain file operation methods that we are going to see with the help of examples first of all we will create a file using the create new file over here so let us move to the eclipse id so over here the very first thing that we have to do is we have to declare a file object using the file class so over here as you can see this is the session that is given by the eclipse id over here the package is java.io so this is the class that we want to use and then we have the object name so let's say we provide the object name as file and then equal to new and then file which is the constructor so over here guys there are many other constructors that are present so this is called method overloading but we have different parameters that can be passed so we are going to use the first constructor which takes only one parameter that is the string path name that will be the path of the directory so over here i am going to select this and inside the double quotes i am going to provide the directory path so which directory path i am going to provide over here i have this directory i'll just copy this notice guys that we have only three files over here that is java tutorial output file and the test file over here so we are going to create another file that is the fourth file using the file class in our example so over here i have provided the path of the directory and then at the end of the statement i'll provide a semicolon now guys we can use different methods of this file object in order to create and delete files so over here what i will do is i will use the method so first of all i will provide the file object name followed by dot and then we have something called as create new file so as you can see this create new file method is there which will return a boolean value true or false so if the file is successfully created it will return true or else it will return false over here so what i will do is i will say create new file and i will take the value in a boolean variable over here so i will define a boolean variable and i'll name it as file created so guys if the file is successfully created by using the create new file it will return true and the value of the file created will be true or else the value will be false over here now guys we are getting a red underline it says unhandled exception type io exception so what i'll do is i'll add throws declaration over here in order to handle the exception now guys important thing is after providing the path over here i need to provide the file name that i want to create so what i will do is i'll have the double backslashes over here and then i'll provide the name of the new file as new file dot txt so guys notice that the file with this name will be created in that same directory and it will be the fourth file that we will be creating so new file is the file name over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see the program got terminated over here if we go in the directory as you can see we have the fourth file over here the name is the new file and it will not have any content guys that's because we have not written anything guys in order to have the confirmation in the program itself what we can do is i can check in the if condition whether this file created is true or not so inside the if condition i'll say file created if it is true then it will go inside this block of code and then we can have the print statement over here that file created successfully so we have file created successfully over here and then guys we can also have the else part and i'll say i'll just copy this line of code over here i'll say file creation issue so over here file creation issue so guys if the file created is true it will print this file created successfully or else it will print a file creation issue so let me just save this file and before running this code what i will do is i will just delete this file that is new file over here so that the file is created once again so let me just run this code once again over here so as you can see file created successfully is being displayed over here and if we go in the directory it says new file over here we have got the new file that is being created 
So after creating a new file in a particular directory, we can also use the file writer or the buffered writer classes in order to write data into the file. And we can also use the file reader or any other reader class in order to read the content of the file. So guys, these topics I have covered separately. So you can watch them as well. The links to those videos I have given in the description section. Now guys, how do we delete a particular file from a directory? So since now we have already created this file, that is the name of the file is new file dot txt over here i will show you in the directory once again so this is the new file that we have created it is not having any content now how do we delete this file so basically we have the delete method as well which we can use so what i will do is i will remove this block of code over here since we have already created the file and what i will do is i'll say file followed by dot and then we have something called as delete method so this delete method it returns a boolean data type it will return true if the file is deleted successfully or else it will return false so we will catch that boolean value as well so in order to catch that we will have a boolean variable and i'll say file deleted and then equal to so guys in this way file dot delete it will delete this particular file that is new file dot txt that we have given to this file object so before running this code notice that we already have this file that is new file and this should be deleted from this directory when we are executing this line of code now what i will do is before executing i will say this file deleted if it is true i will print some statement so that we get the confirmation on the console so we will have the print statement and i'll say file deleted successfully so we have file deleted successfully over here and then the same print ln statement we will have in the else part in which i will say file not deleted i'll remove this successfully word over here so guys we will get the confirmation on the console as well if the file gets deleted or not so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it says file deleted successfully and if we go to the directory over here there is no new file that is present which was created by us using the create new file method so guys in this way we can easily create and delete the files from a particular directory using the java program guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can cover when you are using the file object over here so when we say file object followed by dot as you can see we have many other methods that can be used we can also check whether the directory that we have given over here or the file path that we have given over here is a directory or not so is directory is used in order to check whether the path that we have given is a directory if it is a directory then it will return true or else it will return false so guys let us check an example of a directory over here i'll just remove this block of code over here and i'll just provide the directory path so i'll just remove this file name that we had provided and i'll provide the directory path over here so what we can do is we can say file i want to check whether this is a directory or not so i'll say is directory so as you can see is directory method returns a boolean data type so i'm going to select this method over here and i'm going to catch that boolean value over here so i'll say is directory and then equal to so guys if it is directory then is directory variable will be true or else it will be false so over here what i will do is i will check whether is directory is true so i'll just provide this as true and if it is true then we want to print that this is a directory so i'll say this is a directory over here or else if it is not directory then it must be a file so guys over here i'll have the same print ln statement over here but in this case i'll say this is a file since it is not a directory so guys let me just save this file and try running this code since we have only provided the directory path it will be a directory in this case so let me just run this code so as you can see this is a directory now let us take an example of a file so what i will do is i will go inside this directory i will copy this file name that is output so i have copied this this is the output.txt and what i will do is at the end of this directory path name i will provide double backslash and then i'll paste this file name followed by dot txt so guys over here i am giving the file name so basically this file object is having the file name reference 
so let me just save this file now and try running this code so it will check whether this is a directory or not so we are getting this as false over here so since it is not a directory it is a file and in this way this is a file statement is being printed over here on the console so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is passing command line arguments to the java program with command prompt so stay tuned